What's up, guys? So, I just want to go over something, uh, two things that I can, or one thing that I can foresee, and one thing that apparently is going to happen in the next chapter, and the next battle pass, and all of that. Well, this won't be in the next battle pass, but, um, what apparently we will be seeing return is the Mandalorian's mythic jetpack and mythic, uh, rifle. Uh, apparently, we'll be seeing it in the next chapter, um, possibly the next chapter with the brand new chapter starting. We will. I do not think we will see it instantly. I think the first things we'll be seeing is uh, Christmas stuff for the next chapter, considering it will be December when it starts. But what? Um, when would this possibly happen? I don't. They did say it would happen next chapter with the new with the mythics returning. They didn't say. What season, though? I think... Let's see. I do think it could possibly be um, for the first season and possibly the second season. Because Mandal there's going to be... The next season of Mandalorian will be starting next year, I believe, on January. So I think that's the best time. Now, a second thing, which is just a hypothesis, I guess, is that... Maybe we could be seeing another Mandalorian skin that hopefully they change his appearance a little bit in the next season. And if they do, that leads up to they should make another Mandalorian season. I mean, another Mandalorian skin. And um, really, I, I, this is the biggest thing, the biggest reason I think we should get another Mandalorian skin. It should be item shop. And why do I think that? It's because... I know we don't have lightsabers, but a dark saber is different. It's basically just a sword, and we have plenty of sword pickaxes. The only thing they'd have to do is basically, like, the customizable pickaxe, kind of make it glowy like that. I think we have a, a lot of customizable pickaxes. It, all they have to do is make the sword like that, make it glow black and white, and just make it straight like a sword. That's all they have to do for the dark saber as a pickaxe. Um, I think it would just be... I don't know. Really, that's the only reason they should make a, another Manny Lauren skin. Is because, number one, maybe people didn't get the first one. Number two, new season's coming out. Number three, uh, we didn't get a dark saber as a pickaxe. And that is super easy. That's more easy to do than... Uh, a lightsaber. It's probably technically about the same. But, um, what would be the point of... Because this is how I'm thinking they'll do it. Um, I'm thinking if they make a dark saber as a pickaxe, they'll make it somewhat like Thor's pickaxe. They'll make it only be able to wield, be wielded by the one ba bad guy that wielded it in the Mandalorian and any Mandalorian, which would... Uh, which we only have one Mandalorian and a Boba Fett. So those would be the only two that could wield the dark saber. They did not make what's his name the the bad guy at the beginning. He had the dark saber and Mandalorian defeated him and then took the dark saber and now it's Mandalorian's dark saber. Uh, though they could add more Mandalorians as well. So another thing that I can see for since the new season. A Mandalorian comes out. If they show some more of Luke Skywalker, they could either give Luke Skywalker uh, an extra style because we already have him in, or they could have the Mandalorian version of Luke Skywalker, which would be a whole new skin and a bit a whole waste of time to put out Luke Skywalker when they could have just put out a fourth style. They technically already kind of have the style. They have the black one. They just need the black hood and stuff. They have the hood. that is just not black. That's the only part they're missing. Obviously, they're missing a lightsaber pickaxe as well. But, um... See, yeah. This is another... Look. It could kind of be like that. They already have it. Look. I mean, the red... I mean, if they just turn that... That black around it into white and turn the red into white. Yeah, see? Here's the dark saber. Just in case y'all haven't seen it before. It would be so easy... I don't know why they haven't done it yet. Um, but yes, we'll be seeing Mandalorian Mythics return in the next chapter. 
could we see um, bounties again like that? Yeah, we could possibly see it like that again. Um, we could also see possibly see the lightsabers return. Uh, you know, we'll never get a, a X wing or a Tie fighter or anything like that as a vehicle in Fortnite. But uh, I'm been told that um, the map might be a little bit bigger than this uh, this season that we have right now. So um, the next topic or my next video, you know how I like I like to make uh, two videos per like at once so um the next topic is going to be a little more interesting than this but this was just i just had to figure out something some video to make just in case this happens also letting you know that in the next chapter we will be uh, the mandalorian mythics will be returning i think that would be exciting to see uh i never did get to use them uh also when i'm gonna throw in a little extra for both videos um, they are getting rid of Battle Lab. Hopefully this means that in creative you'll soon be able to use lightsabers and mythics that are, for, uh, you know, mythics, sorry, that's, I'm popping my knuckles. Uh, mythics like Star Wars mythics, uh, Marvel mythics, maybe they'll finally put it in creative 2.0. I'm still wondering if we're going to keep the regular creative and then we're going to also have 2.0 creative. Um, now in creative, I think the reason they're getting rid of Battle Lab is because now in creative, you can have, uh, maps with the, um, the map on it. So, I think that's, uh, not that great, honestly. I mean, a lot of people use Battle Lab to gameplay and review. I being one of those people. Tabor Hill being one of those people. I mean, Tabor Hill kind of does both, depending on the skin, but, um, it's gonna suck for us gameplay and review. Uh, if y'all wanna see gameplay and review over Luke Skywalker, I did get him, but I have to, uh, and also if y'all'd like to see a gameplay and review over the crew pet, then I need to know, so therefore I can do both of those videos. And I will see you guys, uh, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.